Remember this, kids? The gigantic paper airplane project. And we, um, I think we could go back to that lesson and try that again. So you guys can do this at home. Give you something to do. Go outside, take, make your paper airplanes and go fly them out there. So we're going to uh, start off with a long rectangular shape. Meaning two sides are longer than the two end sides. Okay, these are longer than here. It's a rectangle. All right. So if I can point this down just right, and the, hopefully the phone doesn't tip over, you guys can watch me fold this. All right. So go keep the side that you want uh, with the print. If you happen to do this, you can color your own paper and the side that you have colored or with the print, you keep facing up, fold it in half lengthwise. Start with that. You guys go ahead and do that at home. I'll take a sip of coffee. Okay. Step two, take one corner here on my left happens to be here. Fold that corner, only, only one part of the paper there, not both sides, just part of it, and fold it back to where the length side is having this corner come meet it right here. See the fold? And then I once I know I have it in the right place, you can see it's really tight along this line. Then I go and I push down firmly to get that crease. And I like to run my hand over it two or three times to make sure it's really good and tight. So that's what it should look like after your first, second fold. <clears throat> after your second fold. Okay. All right. Now you just keep repeating that process. <clears throat> so you grab this side that's already folded, that it's on the diagonal. Remember the diagonal was like this? This piece of paper is on the diagonal. Take that from the top and fold it back down in the same direction that you just did the last fold. Okay, and I'm gonna run my hands over two or three times. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you guys can do that third step or third fold. And I'm gonna go in the same direction for the next fold until I have a really long, sleek airplane that's ready to soar. Again, this paper hasn't, we haven't done anything to that yet, okay? Then I fold it back like that one more time and really get that crease sharp on this one, okay? Really get it sharp. Again, you'll see this now. It's almost like an accordion on the underside. There's, you can tell where you've made a couple folds. And you should have something just like this right now, where only half of this long rectangular large shape paper has been folded, only half. Okay, I'll take another sip. And you guys make sure you're up to speed at the same juncture, the same place I am. All right, now take the folded side and put it back down like that, because we have to go do the other side in the same manner that we had just made those folds, okay? All right, so fold number one, take it from the corner and then fold it up over this. And you start doing this at home and it only kind of makes sense. You wanna make sure you're making the folds on the other half that we're doing, pointing like this with the same direction as the front of your airplane. And now we're gonna do this two more times. We're going to fold this back this way. Nice tight crease. That's, see where I'm at? Now I'm going to do it one more time so both sides um, are equal. There's symmetry. Ha! Ah, see, we can always teach you some math somewhere. Symmetry means you have two sides that are equal. Um, they often use that in paintings. They'll say, boy, there's perfect symmetry there. 
or maybe the balance of life, that you have symmetry, you got everything being balanced and equal in your life. That's what we always strive for, right? Symmetry. Remember that word. Quiz is coming. Now, we've done that last fold really good and tight. Okay. Both sides were folded down about three times to be able to get this long kind of sharp rectangle on the tip here is really sharp if you use better paper like cardstock you'll get a better product you will get a better airplane flimsy paper won't be quite as good but it'll work fine if you got just grab some eight and a half by eleven paper eight and a half inches by eleven is your typical piece of paper that we all type on and all those worksheets you guys get they're always eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so you can see now that this is where we grab it from and, and toss it from here. And a couple of things I've done before is one, make your, um, hmm, what do they call this on the end? I have to look it up. You're gonna make your, uh, it helps in the direction of this thing. So I made a cut right here, right there with my scissors so don't cut too high make sure it goes right up to this crease so i have my airplane like this and then i made a cut right here on the end okay then what is this part called that comes up the rudder not the rudder it's sort of like a rudder for a boat but it's a rudder for an airplane do you remember aim Anyway, there it is. It'll help your plane fly a little bit more steady. And then you can always put a paper clip here to kind of keep this nice and tight underneath. Put a paper clip right on those, this guy right here. Otherwise, it's not essential. Neither is this part down the end. I think you're ready to go out and fly. Let that baby go. So you get back, hold your elbow up high, and throw that puppy out long. Make sure that you don't have a lot of kids around because these things could hit somebody in an eye and be, honestly, be kind of dangerous. So watch where you're throwing away from people and uh, go have fun with your paper airplane today.